I'm just getting ready for bed and tomorrow's big day because if I don't start my period by 10 a.m., my IVF cycle is off the table until April. So it's a big deal. I've been trying to talk to my body and tell my body to do what it needs to do, but of course it's not listening. Are you over there laughing in the background? Jonathan? Why are you all quiet all of a sudden? Jonathan? <laughs> Why are you being quiet? For me? Yes. I didn't hear my, my head was under the water. Why was your head under the water? You're crazy. So anyway, as I was saying, I'm getting ready for bed. And yes, if I didn't, but then you made a noise. So you made a noise and you interrupted my conversation with myself. So anyways, tomorrow's a big day. If I do not start my period by 10 a.m. My IVF cycle is off the table until April, which puts us right up to the wire of when we're going to be on our vacation. So, I've been talking to my body, telling it it needs to do what it needs to do, but as you probably know by now, my body does not give a fuck. And it doesn't listen to me. So, my guess is that tomorrow, by 10 a.m., my period will not start. Now, I could be wrong. And I could be totally off base here. But I kind of doubt it. So, I have to call my clinic tomorrow by 10. And let them know what the deal is. So, we shall see. And I will update you tomorrow morning. Alrighty. Hi. Hi. He's working, so he can't really talk. But here I am. Um, guess what? Just take a just take a guess. Come on. Do you think I started my period? Do you think I started my period? Let's be honest. All right. If you guess no, you get a prize. If you guess yes, you are way too hopeful, and you don't know me well enough because you must not know that my body hates me. So, no, I did not start my period. We all kind of knew that. At least I think we did. Um, oh, let's take a moment to appreciate my very nicely organized closet. Beautiful, huh? Beautiful. It's little things in life. Because when you can't have a kid, you gotta, you know, enjoy the little things in life. But anyways, yeah, didn't start my period. Uh, I figured as much because things don't ever go my way when it comes to infertility. So, yeah, I called the doctor and the person I need to speak to was not available. So I left a message. We'll see if I get a call back in a reasonable amount of time. If not, I will call them and tell them, hey, I did not start my period. So what now? I'm assuming we can't start. Well, I know we can't start IVF until the April cycle, but I don't know, like, are they going to put me on birth control, which was kind of what was discussed, or are they not going to put me on birth control, or are they going to just let me get my, get my fake period on my own, and we're going to keep going through this vicious cycle, or what's going on? So, I will keep you updated, but I did want to fill you in on the fact that I did not start my period. So yeah, that is the story. That is the scoop, Stanoni. If you know where that's from, you're pretty cool. If you don't, you should watch Grease. So, now I'm going to go back to work and do the million things I need to do. And I will catch you later with the update from the doctor. Excuse me again, we have some good news. And I guess it's all good news. It could be bad news, but for now it's good news. So, I got a call from the doctor's office. And I have my notes here because there's a lot of notes and, or a lot of stuff and it's hard for me to remember it all. So I'm going in next Wednesday um, for them to take my blood so that they can check my progesterone level. Um, when I went to my appointment last 
time, they found that really large cyst, which was 31 millimeters. They want to check my proge progesterone because they are assuming that I may ovulate. Um, and then if I have or did, um, or maybe will, I'm not too sure, they can keep me in March's cycle um, instead of moving me to April's cycle. So that is really, really, really good news. Um, I'm excited that we might potentially um, be able to stay in this cycle. Or maybe I can get pregnant naturally and avoid the whole thing. So maybe my body doesn't hate me after all. Maybe... This might work out in our favor. So fingers crossed that we get good news um, um, at our next appointment and we can still be in the cycle or we are actually pregnant and everything is amazing and life is wonderful and perfect. Good morning, everybody. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We are up bright and early because we have a couple things going on. We are going to take, well, I'm going to take my mom to go get her second COVID vaccine. No, oh, isn't that cool? Also, our internet is down. Whop, whop. So that's a problem. John's trying to get that fixed. John is trying to get that fixed. He's very involved in what he's doing right now. So yes, I am. Yes, I am. So yeah, that is the deal. That's the deal. I don't really have anything else to say. Do you have anything else to say? Uh-uh. Not yet. Ooh, that coffee is hot, hot, hot. So where are we? Well, you don't have to say exactly where we are, but what are we doing? Well, we're here to get my second shot for the virus. The Moderna vaccine. Exactly. How are you feeling? I'm excited. I'm, I'm ready to have it, you know, and get on my little life's journey. Yeah, now you can feel more comfortable when you go out. Yeah. So. I'm here. still going to wear my mask, though. Yes. Yeah. Because wearing a mask is only an extra layer of protection that is very helpful. That's right. And they say that they're not sure if you can pass it, you know, if you have symptoms that you don't realize that you can still. They're not sure if you can have those symptoms with the shot. So if you do, you're still protecting others. Even if you, you're not going to get it wrong, you're, you know, get bad. You don't want to give it to anybody else you love or anybody else, period, right? So how sweet of you. You're wearing a mask not to protect yourself because you're vaccinated, but to protect other people. Exactly. And that is a good mama. Yay! So we will check in after you get your vaccine to see how you're feeling. Yeah, let's see if I grow another head. Yeah, if you do, <laughs> two heads are better than one, right? In my case, really better, yeah. Two brains are better than one. <laughs> How are you feeling? I feel great. She's a superhero now. Yeah. She has superpowers. I'm all vaccinated. All vaccinated, but now 10 days until you're really, really immune. Yeah, and then watch out world, here I come. Yes, our green grass is looking beautiful. There's little bugs crawling around in it right now, so it seems like it's doing pretty well. Hopefully the bugs don't crawl on me. Give you an update on our lime tree and our blueberry bush. Look at our lime tree. Isn't it cute? Looks cool, huh? And then look at our blueberry bush. This little bush is getting so, yeah, so, green, yeah. so cool. Look at all the new growth on there. All the new growth. Okay, so what are your feelings on the current state of our IVF cycle? Well, um, it's kind of frustrating, but, uh, you know, it, I'm glad we'll know more tomorrow. No, sorry. Next week, you know. Trying to fast forward that so we can get our results tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I wish. It'd be awesome. But yeah, I mean, we'll, we have potential good news. So, you know, it's, it's important to stay positive and everything. So we're trying to stay positive. It's just hard when in the world of infertility, nothing, you're in the situation you're in because stuff didn't go your way. And so when you are trying to do treatments so that things can go your way and the timeline isn't yeah. along the lines that you expected it to be or wanted to be, wanted it to be, it could become kind of frustrating. So yeah, that's the story. But we'll have good news, hopefully, from the doctor soon. Yeah. Um, 
We are on period watch, and guess what? I haven't started. No big surprise there. It would be nice if we started, because that would solve some problems, I think. Um, but I can understand. My body's like, whoa, B, you just had one, so why are you trying to have another one? And I'm kind of feeling the same way. It's like, mm, I don't want another one, but it's not up to me. It's up to the doctor. And that makes it a little frustrating. But I'm just going to try to go with the flow. I'm not a go with the flower type of person. But I'm going to try to go with the flow because that's all I can do. My sweater says Monterey. And that's one of my favorite places to go. I miss Monterey so much. If you've never driven Highway 1 from like Lompoc area up to Monterey, you were missing out definitely worth the drive it's long but it doesn't seem long because you're looking at beautiful things all the time i can't wait until we get vaccinated so that we can go travel again it'd be so nice update on my mom she seems to be doing well i think she's taking a nap that uh, second vaccine we'll get an update from her later or i will update you later